Hey everyone, Zephy Moses here, and in this gear guide video, we're gonna go over the Decimator MDLX. I know you've heard me talk about the MDHX as well as the 12G Cross. This one's a little bit different. There's no buttons on it, no menu on it. Let's talk about what we would use this for. Typically, this bi-directional converter is just being used for converting either SDI to HDMI or HDMI back to SDI. You can see we have two HDMI ports on this side. One is the input, one is the output, and then we have two SDI ports on this side. Same sort of deal, one is the input, one is the output. Now you can use this in two different ways. The first way is you can convert HDMI to SDI and simultaneously convert SDI to HDMI. So you can have two different conversions happening at the same time. Think of that as like, it's called the LX. So if you picture an X here, right, like SDI input, X is over to HDMI, uh, HDMI, X is over to the SDI. That's the first way you can use it. The second way is just simply doing one conversion at a time. So SDI to HDMI or HDMI to SDI. You don't have to use both at the same time. Just know that it has that capability. So if you ever found yourself somewhere where you had to do both of those conversions in the same place, then you could do that. What am I usually using this for? I would say anytime that I have a camera that only has an HDMI out port. So my main camera oftentimes is the Canon C70. If you shoot on that camera, you know that it only has HDMI out. It doesn't have SDI outputs. So if I take an HDMI cable, much like this one that I've got right here, and I plug my camera into the HDMI input right down here, then I have the ability to take that over the SDI output. Now, one of the cool things about this is if I have just one input at a time, I could actually convert this to SDI and simultaneously get another HDMI output here. It's just a looping output. Uh, one of the things you want to note is that this has some really good directions on it. So try to make sure that this doesn't get too scratched up. This tells you about the HDMI input lock and the SDI input lock. So on here, if it's orange, so on this side, you see there's a little bit of a light poking through where the HDMI cable is. Now on this side for SDI, uh, you've got orange for no signal, green for HD and 3G, and then you've got red as well for an SD signal. So that's also a quick little troubleshooting way to make sure that you actually have a signal that's going into the device. And I like being able to see that little light on side when you plug in either one. So two different usage cases, convert SDI to HDMI or HDMI to SDI doing just one, or you've got the opportunity to convert both at the same time. It's a great little device. They're definitely under $100, powered over a little USB plug right here. And that's really all you need to know about these. They're very plug and play. There's not a menu system or anything you need to go in and set. It's just going to pass through the signal that it's receiving. So no scaling on this one, just a pass through signal. Thanks again for watching this video. And if you wanna get one of these, these are linked down below in the description. It doesn't cost anything additional to you to use those links. It just helps me to support this channel. And I really appreciate your viewership. And I hope that you learned something from this video. If you wanna find out more about the scaling decimators, check out my other videos on the MDHX as well as the 12G Cross. We'll link to those down below. See you next time.